All right, welcome back to another episode of the Lose Golf and Fish Club show with your hosts, uh, myself, Justin, and Aaron, the uh, ADZ, the uh, Director of uh, Fishing Operations uh, and co-founder. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get into it here. we got a ton of topics to get through. It's been might, about might be about a two-hour episode here, but uh, we'll try to make it short. Yeah, we'll try to make it short. Uh, yeah, it was about a month. Yeah, uh, right before the Lake Mooney tournament, which was June second, that was the last time we, re- we recorded. So, um, I guess we'll uh, get into it. Uh, I mean, dude, we've been so <laughs> we're constantly doing stuff. But um, I guess Lake Mooney, uh, we can do a little recap of Mate Lake Mooney. Um, well, I guess we'll I'll do a little run through of what we're, we'll go, over, little topics we'll go over first. Sounds good. That. Sounds good. So we'll do a Lake Mooney re- rerun <clears throat> yep. recap. And then uh, Aaron's Myrtle Beach trip. Uh, and then we had uh, Blue Ridge Shadows golf tournament. And then fishing tournament at uh, Aquia Creek on Potomac. And then another golf tournament at Gauntlet Golf Club in Fred Stafford, Fredericksburg area. And then uh, if we have some extra time, if we get to them, we'll talk about uh, – we had a little night fishing adventure with uh, my brother, Brandon. And then uh, Aaron went on a – Trip to Lake Gaston, yeah, for uh, July Fourth, and caught some fish. So we'll talk about that, and then we'll talk about the uh, upcoming uh, Aquan Elite Series tournament this Sunday, yeah, at Lake Ridge Marina, yeah, which is six a.m. Yep. Got to beat the heat, yeah, <coughs> yeah, Aquan <laughs> Reservoir, which is ranked the number one lake in Virginia, and then um, our next golf tournament will be uh, the courses at St Andrews at the uh, Andrews Air Force Base. At the end of the month, so I'm going going to the Air Force Base. Hey. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, all right. I guess we'll uh start a Lake Mooney tournament. What do you uh What do you take? What was your take from the uh, Lake Mooney event? Well, uh, to start to, to start the tournament, <laughs> I uh I came late, and my partner was mad. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> he had boat in the water, um, <clears throat> ready to go, and uh. I mean, in my defense, there was an accident on uh, over there off off of Lake Jackson, off 234. So I had a detour all the way around through uh, Prince County Parkway, all the way to 95. It's a freaking nightmare. Um, <laughs> but I made it within like 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, something like that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, we had a pretty good day. Uh, I caught the first fish, like two pounds, something like that. Kind of broke the ice. You know, got us a little. Got our comfort level uh, built up pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, we had like probably like two or three spots we just kind of like rotated off of, you know, went in the mix. Um, I broke off four times on a tree. I don't know if they were big or I mean, it could have put us in first. <laughs> I don't know, but <clears throat> it was definitely frustrating. I tried lots of different colors, got hit on every single color. Um, you were with, uh, you were with Martha. Yeah. You guys lost a big one, right? Or Martha lost a big one or something? Martha lost, pr- from what I saw, the, the fish jumped once and then that was it. It looked like maybe like a solid four. Um, yeah, and weird. then, yeah, I missed. I mean, I had, I, th- I think the issue was we're, we're fishing so deep on this tree. Uh, everybody knows like Lake Mooney's super deep. Mm-hmm. Um, we found this tree and we were just like, kind of like trolling like, you know, 10 inch, 10 inch, you know, worms on it. And uh, I, I would like lift it up a little bit, get it over the tree, and then I'd feel a tick. And then I'd just kind of let my line just slack, see what would happen. And my line would get tight. And I was like, okay, that's a fish. So by the time I reel up, he had already probably wrapped circles around the freaking tree. Mm-hmm. And I'd go to set the hook, instantly cut. Did that three different times. Dude. <clears throat> so, yeah, I got, I, got, uh, I got snagged a lot too. Definitely a snaggy place. Yeah. A lot of those like little brush pile trees and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we didn't do that great. I mean, we caught a good amount of fish. We probably caught eight, ten fish. But Where'd you guys place? We didn't place. We didn't place. I think no. we placed what fifth. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I, don't, I think we got like maybe <coughs> fourth. Maybe we got maybe we got fourth. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but the official weights were um, let's see. Third place was uh Nick Herbert uh, Hebert. He was a new guy. He uh, had seven pounds seven ounces, uh, and then Vaughn and Michael Delauder had eight pounds three ounces. Second place, and then. First place was Alderman and Robinson. They had ten pounds one ounce. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we didn't. I didn't do. We, yeah, he said we 
probably call it 10 <clears> fish. <throat> I probably call it six. I got so. beat by, uh, Bertha and I got beat by a guy in a kayak. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, never ever <laughs> was in a kayak. <laughs> so I got beat by a guy in a kayak too. By himself. Yeah. <clears throat> but he's from that area. He's from like, he fishes there all the time. So yeah. He had an advantage. And then, uh, biggest bass was Thomas Alderman, four pounds. And then, uh, think of the day was 0.92, Ashley. Oh, right yeah. Now. Dude, Wayne thought he had, Wayne thought he had him beat. Mm-hmm. I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. He caught one fish. Yeah. He brought it to the to the ramp, and uh, he actually played it off really funny. Like, the way he was like, I got a big one. I, I don't know. It might, might be the biggest fish. I don't know. <laughs> the way he, like, like, lifted up the top, like, the eyebrow, oh, like, <clears throat> splashing around. He's like, oh, oh. looking around. <laughs> Pulls it out slow. He's like, well, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, the people on the dock started cracking up laughing. He's like, it's a little dink. That's hilarious, dude. Um, yeah. Uh, it was a fun tournament. Uh, Lake Mooney. After that tournament, we all re- I realized, and I think we all started realizing, like we're gonna have to learn how to fish that deep, deep, deep yeah. stuff off the points and drop offs and ledges and stuff like Thomas does. Because if not, he's just gonna win every single time. Yeah. If, like if it's not raining or overcast, we're gonna come up shallow. From June to September, we have no chance against Alderman. <laughs> yeah, if we beat the bank. <clears throat> so I've been trying to work on. That type of stuff. Just like YouTube, looking at maps, like pulling up the Tobo maps and like yeah. looking at how like, these Tobo lines work and the points and all that stuff. And like I've been trying to work on it right now, like leading up to this Aquaman tournament. So, uh, so Lake Mini was a good one. And then um, we had the Blue Ridge uh, Shadows Golf Tournament. But you went to Myrtle Beach the week before or week after? Uh, maybe we got. Might have been, been the week after. It was the week after. Yeah, week after Blue Ridge Shadows. Got myself a new pair of golf shoes. Got the Echoes. All Two, black. Yep, yeah, all black. I hated uh, my golf shoes always being dirty, so <laughs> figured I'd uh, get black. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we went to Virginia Golf Center, and that's when I made that uh, sixty foot putt. And then oh, yeah. I, I, I shut the course down. Freaking lights blew up. I mean, it was crazy. You know. Yeah, check out the video on <laughs> YouTube. Not only it's on YouTube, but it's on Instagram. Yeah, it's Reels. on Instagram. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was funny. A little. Uh, it's like best three balls or four balls, something like that. Yeah, we did close to the pin from like across the green. Yeah, Justin yeah. got soaked by a sprinkler. You know, yeah. trying to record. It's He's a great like, video. Check it out. <laughs> it's a great video. Uh, we were doing a warm up for your Myrtle Beach trip. Yeah, trying to get used to some fast greens. Virginia Golf Center does not have fast greens, but sometimes they do. Yeah. Some, when they cut them and roll them, and yeah, when it's dry, dude, they actually like really fast. <clears throat> um, and they're they're bumpy, so it's very difficult. But um, <laughs> so you can talk about your uh, Myrtle Beach trip a little bit if you want. Myrtle Beach, we went to went to Caledonia day one. Um, let's see, we flew out yeah June fourteenth. That was for what uh, Memorial Day week. No, yeah, I think so. Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Um, my bag passed the uh the, the check. We, we we were in over fifty pounds. Check out that video as well. Yeah, we're good there. Instagram. <clears throat> um, <laughs> we let's see. We yeah, we went to Caledonia day one. Uh, sh- uh, this was actually for an air mattress, so this was like super cutthroat. There were no gimmies. Um, shout out to my buddy Timmy. He's probably really pissed off about the whole event, but you guys a ball and hole. Huh? You guys just balling hole? What no, 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 no. I'm saying we, we did like, you know, shot for shot. There were like no gimmies. Yeah. Because no. it, it was for an air mattress. It yeah. It was for, like, who, who, like whoever lost got yeah, the air so you're mattress. Doing no, yeah, you're doing like balling hole. Like yeah. No gimmies. Like yeah. You have to put everything out. Yeah. Like balling hole or something. So I beat him. I think it was like uh, like 100 to 101. Yeah, I saw your scorecard. You sent it. He was, it was beating you in the front. Yeah. <laughs> it was like down, down in the last few holes and like. Uh, I was playing, I guess my buddy Buckner, he was playing with one of his close friends up there. And, uh, and he was like, dude, this guy's freaking ruthless. Like what, like what's his deal? And I was like, bro, it's for a mattress. Like these, this is for sleeping for the rest of the weekend. Like I'm not giving him gimmies. If he gives me one, then you know, whatever. I might repay the favor. I might mm-hmm. give him one, but, um, yeah, we played Caledonia day one and then we played river's edge day two. Um, of course. Yeah, super tough course, and they just aerated the green, so that was a blast. <laughs> um, it's, but I mean, like the thing I learned about Myrtle is it's like a lot of like bump and runs, you know, like 
if unless you're like dialed in with a 60, like bump and runs are perfectly fine. Land it short, let it trickle up and roll up because the greens are like the greens are like glass. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I think one of the holes at uh, Rivers Edge was uh, Ernie's Revenge. It's like yeah. a par five. You gotta like drive. And then, I mean, you pretty much lay up, so you're probably at like, I don't know, three wood, five wood off the deck or off the uh, tee box. And then from there, you can go for it. But like the green is, I don't know, may maybe a little bit smaller than this room. So <laughs> maybe like, I don't know, 10 feet, 10 feet wide, something like that. Yeah, it's really narrow. Um, so you either, you either lay up to the right, which is not that far, or you just go for it and hope to God it sticks or you hit a bunker or something. Yeah, it's, it's almost as hard – to land it in the layup area as it is to hit the green. Yeah. <laughs> I remember playing that hole from a few years ago, and that's why I was like, I'm just going to go for it because, I mean, the landing area for the layup is really skinny too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you might as well just. So I think they were saying, like, if you get, like, uh, I think if you birdie that hole, they give you, like, some, some type of, like, token or something like that. Oh, really? That's cool. Um, I mean, it wouldn't really do much for me. I mean, I guess. But <laughs> that's, a tough, that's a tough <laughs> course, too, River's Edge. It's, like, <clears throat> it's exposed to the wind and it's tight. And there's a lot of like winding up and hill, up, up and down stuff. Like and then that. last day we played uh, Granny's Members Only, which is my favorite course. I mean, it's like all the greens are like like pretty much like putting on glass. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got up grain, down grain. You know, like the undulations of the greens are just like ridiculous. Um, I actually shot phenomenal there, which was crazy. Um, I think I shot a 92 or 93. There's the best round of the trip. Yeah, best. I think it's the best round of the year, but yeah. Wow. And, and the trip. <clears throat> so, yeah. Timmy was like, bro, you're shooting so good. Like, keep it up, keep it up. I'm like, like now he's now he's hyping me up, you know? <laughs> well, because then you guys have a little tiff the day before about uh, you, like, looking for your ball or something. Oh, yeah. I was just, I mean, like. Was that at River's Edge? Uh, Yeah, it was River's Edge. So, so you I, guys got in a little, like, River's Edge, I was in the woods, like, nonstop. Yeah. I was. And like, like golf etiquette for me is if you shoot a shot in the woods, like I'm gonna help you find your ball, especially if we're like ahead of ahead of pace for golf. Yeah, at least you help you look. Like, and, like, yeah, I'm not I'm not saying go look for like 15, 20 minutes. Like help me for like five minutes or something right. like that, and help me find my ball, and then we'll go from there. You know, but um, yeah, so we got over it. But um, it was a pretty good trip though. And then we uh we made these awesome little things. I don't know how well you can see them, but. It's got a little L on the front. You take it up to the for, camera. Uh, lose. Ah, take it up here. You guys are little, interested in a ball L marker. On the front, and then uh, our lose golf and fish club on the back. And my buddy makes uh, ball markers. So um, if you guys want them, you can uh, hit us up. We'll make you some. I think it's pretty sweet, too. Yeah. For sure. They're like, uh, I don't know. They're, it's like a pretty good sized coin. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a, it's in a case. So. Yeah. It's just a little. Pops little, out. Yeah. But he makes them like super fast. Yeah. I mean, if you want them in color, you can make them in color. Um, it's actually a pretty interesting little ordeal. He's got like a like a, uh, like a basket of rice, mm -hmm. and uh, it just like sits there and it'll go over it like five or six times, and then that's it. Yeah. So pretty cool. Yeah, the video is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but sweet. Well, yeah. Um, that's funny though. I remember you telling me that story originally, like where like Rivers Edge, like they were getting on you about you know. Whatever. Like bro, like your your ball's not over there, and I'm like, dude, like, like I, I've been hit, I, I hit my drive good all day. Like when we went to Virginia yeah. Golf Center, I was hitting a draw. I never hit a draw. Yeah. And I was hitting like straight drives all day long, and I'm like, I should be hitting like 270, 280 easy all day. Yeah. On a good, on a straight, like straight, you know, a little bit of a fade drive, I guess. But yeah. <clears throat> I'm like, come on, man, hurry up, hurry up. Like you don't need any more. I'm like, I know. I brought 30 balls with me. I don't need balls. <laughs> Like I'm on a weight limit for it to go back, <laughs> so I don't need balls. I just need to find my ball. And then the next day, like, uh, you guys played Grand Dunes and you played like your best round. So. Yeah, and you're like I shot like a 41 on the front or something like that. Like locked in, dialed in. I'm like, all right, you guys are pissed off because I'm not, I'm not hitting the fairways. Now I'm hitting the fairways. What do you got now? As like, soon as they hit in the woods, like, all right, come on, like, let's go, up. hurry up, <laughs> in the world. Take your time, why don't you? <laughs> uh, <It's> crazy. <laughs> Um, so you had a good time in Myrtle Beach. Um, I need to make it back down there. That's definitely a fun, fun trip. Um, and then we had the Blue Ridge Shadows Golf Tournament, which um, – Wasn't there for that one. You weren't there for that one. It's a great course. Uh, me and Wayne were partners. Didn't play great. 
we, we were playing all right. We were keeping up. And then uh, at the turn, <laughs> at, at the turn, Wayne decided to order 12 barbecue bone-in wings for some reason. And yeah, we, were, we were on a roll, too. We were finally like, all right, we were sticking there. We had just, like, birdied par, like, and we sit there for 10 minutes, whatever. And then finally play 10, 11. And uh, <clears throat> the way the groups worked out, we had – that group was a six-some. So it was – uh, three two man or yeah three two man teams yeah two, two, two. and we were playing fine but that uh a wing order definitely delayed us Threw it and all then off. by I think the eleventh uh, or twelfth the marshal came up and was like you guys can't be playing a six them really so we were trying to like do like a ladder type of deal where like first group would just tee off get in your cart and re- roll up there and get ready and the next guys would tee off. We did that for a whole, and then eventually it was just like me and Wayne, like ahead, just playing by ourselves, <laughs> pretty much. So it kind of we kind of lost our mojo. Just you know, like well, I mean, if your cook was ready, you know, I mean, this wouldn't have taken so long. <laughs> yeah, we, he was asking her like, how long do the wing take? Wing, the wings take? And she's like, uh, I mean, just as long as it takes to cook them. I mean, five, five to ten minutes ish. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll take twelve. Like, dude, come on, get a hot dog and let's go. Come on. Um, but yeah. So we yeah we kind of lost our mojo once we got separated from the rest of the group. But um, Brandon and Alan tied the record for Lose Golf Fish Club with um, it was seven under, straight up seven under. I yeah. think it was like nine under or something like that with strokes. Which is, that's crazy. Yeah, at Blue Ridge Shadows too. I think the uh, other seven under was at South Wales, which is a lot different. <laughs> Blue Chaz and it's a hard course. We need we need someone to uh, someone to come out and give Allen a run for his money. Yeah, they've he's, won the uh, past two tournaments. He's just been uh, living it up. Brandon and Allen are killing it. We tried to have a uh, we need to get Brandon on at least uh, to talk about that because definitely sweet. Um, and we got I mean we they're playing good with us, but their back nine they started annihilating. Yeah, uh, once we got separated from. Them. And then Alan had uh, close to the pin on that par three. Alan had close to the pin. Um, that's second one in a row. And then Wayne had longest Wayne drive. Wayne had longest drive. Second, off of a tree. Yeah, hit off of a tree. <laughs> pulled it left. <laughs> hit a tree out in the middle of the fairway. And then everyone else. I think there's multiple people that out drove him, but they were yeah. kind of rough. So. <clears throat> yeah, so Alan and Wayne. Uh, yeah. Hopkins boys. Hopkins boys, man. Sweeping them. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Brandon and Allen won that tournament, tied the new rec- tied the record, and then next tournament was um, a Quiet Creek fishing tournament at uh, at the Potomac River. Yeah, Quiet Creek. Good uh, we, spot. We boundaried it again, and uh, the grass was up full and full. The grass never died from last year. It just <laughs> yeah, supposedly it stayed. <laughs> we had a mild winter, so yeah. The lily pads didn't fully die off, and the grass didn't fully die off. So, so. my my original plan with my partner was, I told him, I said, we're gonna go, we're gonna go into the creek and into like the far, like the first point you can go and into the creek, catch our limit, and then we're gonna get shoot out to the point, and then we're gonna go out there and see what it looks like. We got out there, and that hydrilla was so freaking thick. I mean, I, I he was like, how close are you gonna get to the bank? And I'm like, well. Years before, this was like a prime spot. Yeah. You'd have like maybe like two or three foot of hydrilla on the bottom, and the rest was just clear. So you could just roll it, like roll a uh, spinner bait mm-hmm. on top and just destroy fish. But like it was like five or six feet of just thick hydrilla. Nothing died. Yeah, it was crazy. And I kept going further out. And next thing you know, I'm like a hundred yards off the bank, and I'm like, we're done here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not wasting yeah. any more time out here. And then we went back to the bridge, and that's where I caught. Uh, my, our biggest of the day, which was like two and a half or something like that, um, stayed around there. I think caught two out there, and then uh, yeah, I think we ended, we ended up staying in the creek to end it on the hottest day of the year. You know, <laughs> it was so hot. It was like in the hundreds. I, I mean, I, I brought I brought two cold towels because I like to take, uh, take care of my partner. Um, so <laughs> I think it was a record actually for uh, June. Yeah, in Virginia, I think it was a record. It was like a hundred or something, nine ninety nine hundred something. And then your buddies, they they canceled the tournament. Heat index was like yeah, over a hundred. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Shenandoah Valley Bros. Yeah, they canceled. 
uh, because of we, the water, we, water levels and heat and all that stuff. It's Shenandoah. We don't cancel. We just, you know, figure yeah, it out. It's not a river. It's not even with the river, but um, <laughs> we never cancel. Um, we've never canceled a tournament um, so far. Knock on yeah. wood. Where, wherever there, wherever there may be wood. Um, yeah. Ooh. Um, I almost knocked it over. Uh, I know that. <laughs> he, he said that earlier. Um, so Brandon and I actually placed at a quiet creek. And um, I actually got to pre-fish it twice. So, and that's that was kind of more our style, which is like grass, dock, shallow type of fishing. Lilies. <clears throat> Lily pads, Cinco's, yeah, that type of stuff. Um, but it was tough, though. I mean, we caught a few early on the frog. Caught a bunch early on the frog. Um, we forgot our net because we had put it in the crawl dad. So, uh, one of the first fish we hooked up with was probably a two or three pounder. And, uh, the hook, it was on a Cinco, or, uh, Brandon was throwing a fluke. Ah. And, uh, the hook br- snapped. Like, the actual <laughs> hook snapped. He was trying to, like, boat flip it. I was <laughs> like, I'll, make, I'll grab it. He's like, I can, I can flip it. And I went to, like, pull it up, and the hook literally. Jesus. And we didn't know that. We were like, Did that line break? Check the line. And, the, yeah, the hook was broken in half. Wow. Like, wow. There's one, the net. Yeah, we had net. Uh, I don't think it was like over three. I think it's still we still would have been second place. But um, then I caught a two pounder on a frog, and then Brandon caught a two pounder on I think a, I think it was a fluke. Yeah. And then we grinded for like the rest of the time, just like trying to find like the most sh- well, sh- any shadow shade pocket, any like sh- we were just. I think it was you. You and Brandon, Mirtha, and uh, Chris, and uh, Vaughn and his brother, you guys all went in that cove, like, far. Well, because I pre-fished with Mirtha, and yeah. I pre-fished with Vaughn, and that's what we did. We just went, and my boat's too bit, too small to go out to the bridge yeah. and all that stuff anyway. And uh, so, yeah, so we had, I pre-fished with both of them, and all three of us ended up placing. We all went back into the creek and did the same type of thing, pretty much. So pretty much frogs if, early, and then... If, if you pre-fish uh, Aquaya, you're, you're uh, in the top three. That's what I learned. That's how, that's how I have in this time. <laughs> that's because we knew a couple spots. We all knew yeah. a couple spots. But I think one of the big things that helped Vaughn was he went to the one place that none of us had gone yet. We didn't, I didn't pre-fish that marina, the marina back there. Oh, yeah. We didn't pre-fish that at all. And then uh, we went, I went past it with Vaughn. Vaughn and I passed it. And then there's... It keeps going back, and there's like a channel with like some docks and stuff yeah. back there. And we didn't fish that. There's like two, a couple kayakers, and we talked to them, asked them how shallow it gets. And they're like, "Oh, it gets really shallow back there." And Vaughn was like, "All right, let's see." And he just like kept going and went around. <clears throat> but I think that's where he fished. I think that's. I think he yeah. went back to that harbor and that channel with the docks. Well, his brother caught a really nice snakehead. They caught a nice bass too, like almost four pounder. Damn. I think that was the biggest fish. Um, we got a couple minutes before we gotta take a pause Pulse. break, but um, let's see. Uh, we can do the results for Blue Ridge real quick. I'm running back. Yeah. Uh, third place was me and Wayne. <clears throat> um, we were plus oh, 77, uh, 71. And second place was Cook Fred Lake at uh, seventy five sixty nine. Englehart and Beerman was eighty two sixty nine, and then Brandon and Allen. Was uh sixty five sixty. That's insane. Yeah. So seven under, and then like, yeah, crazy. And then let's see, a quiet, classic. Yeah. Third place was uh Martha Moore, six pounds four ounces. Um, and then second place was me and Brandon, six pounds eight ounces. And then mm-hmm. first place was Vaughn and Michael Delauder, eight pounds. 15 ounces. It's not, it's not like we need to check them scales for second and third there. Too close. Yeah, it was definitely close. <laughs> if we would have had that one fish that broke off, uh, yeah. we would have had maybe eight, eight something. Yeah. If it was in the twos, but um, it would have been closer. But I think uh, Michael DeLauder is in first place right now for uh, angle of the year because he got big, big bass, uh, three pounds, 13 ounces. Yeah, almost. That's sweet. And then Dink of the Day was uh, Chris Davis, yeah. your buddy. Still got to get him a prize. <laughs> Once uh, we see him again. Hooks at Hoodlums. We can get him a Hooks at Hoodlums, like, something. 
shirt. Hat or shirt. Yeah. Um, I like that. One pound and four ounce. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, there's a few topics. That's uh, 25 minutes. So we'll take a break and we'll be back with another part two. Hey.